Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to this collection for another video. Hopefully, everybody's staying warm. We got a good one here today. You guys already know X Men Days of Future Past Wolverine 1973 version. Uh, so, this one right here is a deluxe version, not the exclusive edition, unfortunately. Um, I ended up pre ordering this a little bit late to the party. I pre ordered it last April or May. Uh, so, the only one available was just the deluxe version. Um, it's all good. So, if anyone has an extra Sentinel arm cannon, <laughs> let me know. Um, but of course, X-Men Days of Future Past. It is my favorite X-Men film out of the whole series. I always wanted a, wanted a, a Wolverine a figure. I haven't gotten it. Um, I was looking at the Day of, Day of Future Past, the uh, future edition. Um, but of course, that was all dated and really wasn't feeling it. And I don't want to pay the res resale price on that one. So I'm like, you know what? Wait it out. This one came in. This is good enough for me. 1973 version. Hey, <laughs> the whole retrofit. Hey, count me in. Um, so yeah, check them out. I'm excited about this one. Can't wait to take them out, display them. I definitely want to put the seamless arm for sure. Um, but yeah, let's go over the pack pack bleh, packaging here really quick. So it was, of course, it's um, Hot Toys packaging. They went a little bit cheap per se. It's not really like the way it used to be. Now it's like almost like a shoebox, you know. I remember Hot Toys back in the day used to have, like their packaging was awesome presentation you know what i mean but now it's just basic shit but hey it's, it's all good um so yeah normal usual stuff in regards to the packaging deluxe version x-men dates of future past wolverine there in the center big old x in a in the front there um different poses here of hugh jackman there on the side here x-men dates of future past another pose of wolverine here in the back usual licensing bullshit wolverine deluxe to edition version whatever all the usual wording, all the stuff, etc., etc. Other side, same bullshit. Top here, ah, this here. X Men Days of Future Past, there too. Same thing at the bottom. And that's basically all there is to it on the packaging. Uh, let me go ahead and take this out. All right. Oh, yeah. That looks cool. That looks dope. Oh, yeah, cannot wait to take a whiff of that jacket. Hey, genuine leather, boys, on that one. I'm sure you guys know about that one. Uh, but, yeah, let's go ahead and take everything out of the box. Let's go ahead and play with them. Give you guys a little brief review on this guy. And we'll see what we got. Give me one second, all right? Okay, so I got everything out of the box. And first impressions, this guy is sick. Uh, well, let me rephrase that. Um, He's cool. You know, it's, it's Hugh Jackman. Is is Wolverine, but um, you know, it's the of course everybody knows the Hesco. You know, could have been a lot better. The prototype was a hundred times better. Uh, of course, they downgraded a couple steps, but you know what I mean. Is it is what it is. It's still a cool Wolverine. You know what I mean. I, I still want it in my collection. I wish it was like the prototype. That's honestly the reason why I pre-ordered this in the begin with. But hey, it's all good. I have him, and he's 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 cool. You know, he's. He's good. Um, so yeah, let's go over the here the accessories here before we go into the figure itself. Uh, so of course, uh, oh yeah. So by the way, um, here's the display base here. Uh, it does come with the the Wolf Wolf Lorraine typo mistake right there. Uh, so of course, SciShow did provide the sticker just to place over it. Um, this is correct spelling, Wolverine. Um, however, you know what I mean. I think it gives a little gives it a little bit of character. So I might actually just. Go ahead and keep it this way uh, with Wolf Lorraine. Um, but yeah, man, you know, they sh should have got this first try, but hey, it's whatever. So basically, these want me to place a sticker on top of that. But like I said, it's just like, I'd rather take this one out originally, take the original one out first and then place a the sticker. Because I really just want to put a sticker on top of the sticker, you know what I mean? So I might just leave it at that. But anyway, so here's the display base itself. Um, it's really easy to assemble. It's like four different pieces. Got this little... I believe it's a ladder thingy there. Connect two things here. Um, then we, think we got a little pole here. Connect that there. It's a big old block there. And then this little thing here on the side as well. Um, but overall, this thing is dope. Um, pretty detailed. Uh, like I said, turn this thing all the way around. It's pretty big, so bear with me. Um, but, no, nah, man, this thing is pretty cool. I like it. That's the reason why, you know, I, I wanted the, the, the diorama for this figure uh, the the standard one's cool but in hey, this diorama it definitely gives it a lot more character um so does that and put that down for a second um and then also we got here the black shirt which i personally like a lot better than the 
the peacock one that he's got on the blue one is it's nice but this black one is a lot more better uh, so hopefully i'm gonna go ahead and install the forearms and have them exposed have it exposed with the, the black shirt here and then of course with that shirt also you got to put these little pads pad things on his biceps on his arms just so it could make it look like more bulkier give that bulky effect um that's a little i don't know man i really don't like that idea to be honest you should have just had the arm bulked up but i see why just because they need to fit that leather jacket as well so eventually you know what i mean i'm gonna go ahead and put this guy on as well with the shirt um but let me go over the the hands here really quick so it came with so it actually came uh no actually it came in uh stock with the relaxed hands here but i actually just swapped them out with the hand with the with the bone bleh, with the bone claws um but here's the hands here relaxed hands left hand there right hand there pretty basic relaxed hands there uh, then we got the closed fist left and right and that pretty basic but definitely detailed you see the veins and the hair details there um but however the best part of all the accessories here are these check out that forearm super detailed on this i want to put this on but man th this thing is a bitch to put on so eventually i'm gonna go ahead and put it on uh, i'm not gonna put them on here in this video so my apologies on that um just because this thing is gonna be like a mission and hopefully i don't break anything but eventually i'm gonna go ahead and swap these out because the this thing is sick look at the details on that so we got the left one and then the right one right there check that out this thing is awesome hell yeah and by the way be careful with these these bone claws yeah it's plastic but extremely sharp extremely extremely sharp i actually poked myself a couple times installing these right here um so yeah let me get all the accessories out so we could check out the figure itself and um see what we, see what we got be right back all right so let's take a closer look of hugh jackman over here um so exactly what i said about the head scope um you know like the prototype was just way better um it's not the worst you know, but like I said, that's the reason why I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered it to begin with. Hesco was really up to par with Hugh Jackman. Now it's just like, it's, it's got more of a blockhead. Um, this beard is like lighter than before. It was, the prototype was a lot darker. Um, you know, just, I don't know. He's downgraded a couple of steps with this one. But hey, you know, I, I still see Hugh on this one. Um, it's still Wolverine. I still wanted it. It's, it's all good. It's not really a deal breaker, but of course it could have been a lot better. But I'll still take it. Still take it. Um, but yeah, no, overall, on this whole figure itself is just, it's sick. It's sick. Um, oh, by the way, let me just take a really quick whiff test of the jacket. Ah, oh, yeah. Real genuine leather. That is sick. So this brown jacket, like I said, real uh, real genuine leather. Uh, underneath here, it's got the, the blue peacock. Pe <laughs> peacock. Peacock shirt with a um, woman beater dago underneath. Uh, it's got a little belt buckle there. Uh, the belt is not leather per se, but um, still a nice little buckle. Uh, then down to the the jeans here, nice blue denim. Nice quality on this one, definitely real jeans. And this then down to the boots here, which is real nice. And the best part here are the bone claws. Like I said, be careful with them. They're extremely sharp. Um, this one's actually real. It's loose on mine too, for some reason. Um, the glue's really cheap on this. Uh, but yeah, be careful with the, the bone claws here, but extremely detailed on that too. I really can't wait to put the forearm in, but unfortunately I'm not gonna do that tonight. Um, but yeah, really detailed. So yeah, like I said, overall this figure is cool. I like it. It's definitely part of the collection. Um, happy I got it. Um, like I said, for now, I'm probably just going to have him posed up with the, with the jacket. Originally, I wanted to put him with the black shirt, with the forearm. Like I said, I'm eventually going to go ahead and do it. For the time being, I'm just going to have him with this with the jacket on. I like the look of it, you know what I mean? Um, the shirt's not, not the worst. It's, I like it, too. I prefer the black one, but um, for now, I'm just going to rock him out like this, posed up like this. Like I said, it's really a, it's a basic pose. I don't want to go too crazy with it, especially I don't want to damage the, the leather jacket. Um, but, of course... Um, you know, this, I like it. I really like it a lot. Like I guess that could have been done better, but hey, this is what we're going to work with and I'll take it. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. 
Uh, like I said before, I have uh, other figures coming in. I got Mr. J on the way um, coming in from China. So hopefully I get that in the next week or two. Review that one. That's going to be a great one. My highly and anticipated figure of the year. Can't wait for that one to come in. Uh, I believe uh, I got Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man coming in as well um, in February. So be on the lookout for that one as well. Uh, I should be getting the second batch on that one with a fixed head scope on that one. But we'll see. Um, other than that, that's basically it. I appreciate you guys for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. See you later.